Welcome to Atlanta. I love everything about the South. The country living, the weather, the country Southern vegan food, and also beautiful small farmhouses like this. Hey y'all, my name is Will Edmond, and today we're gonna be reviewing this amazing tiny farmhouse in the city of Atlanta, and you're gonna be on this adventure review with me. Let's go. Whenever you walk up to this property, you're gonna be greeted by a red door. That's something we do here in the South. Whenever you have a red door, you know it's fancy. So let's go inside and see this luxury farmhouse, shall we? And now we're in the living room, and this is where you kick back, you relax, put your feet up. That's what we say in the country. My grandma said, baby, put your feet up. And that's exactly what I'm doing. And you can be watching Netflix and chill with your boo. If you don't got a boo, just come here and book this place out for yourself. But it's all inside of a forest right here in the city. And it's absolutely beautiful. These chairs, comfortable chairs. I love the accent of the chairs. The turquoise blue is what's in for this season. And then this tribal carpet. What tribe are you in? You can look out this window right here. You can see all the nature and also you can see the animals playing and um, other little small creatures that are outside this window right here. Oh, you already know where I'm about to go next. My favorite place in any house, the kitchen. Let's do this. So here we are in this tiny small kitchen but it has everything you need. It also has a stove in that didn't come here. I brought this stove, but it does have granite countertops, has a little bar section right here, has brass stools, luxury baby. And then it also has a small, I ain't never seen a stainless steel sink that's this small. That's a little water right there. That's a lot of water pressure right there. Coffee pot, shelves, utensils, everything you need in order to be comfortable in a farmhouse this size. And if you're gonna be cooking in the farmhouse like I do, they have a fridge over here. I already got my vegan product. I got some shiitake mushrooms, some just egg and some sausages. I'm gonna be cooking some food later on in those videos. So you gotta watch those as well. But storage spaces in here is ample. Cabinetry is down here, cabinets, everything you need. But we're not finished yet. We gotta go upstairs and check out the master bedroom. I think I'm the master. Let's go up. Y'all, I almost forgot to show you two other things that are downstairs. It's this accent wall right here that has a TV so you can kick back. And then over here, barn door and an amazing bathroom on the first level. Look at this, colors. Now this blue right here reminds me of the ocean. I love being on the beach. And when I step in here, I feel like I'm from the farmhouse to the ocean. And next up is the boom boom room. That's what they used to call it back in the old days. <laughs> but we call it the master bedroom. And when you're going upstairs, she's gonna be going up a, a wooden railway. I like the fact that they have accent wood in this house. That really makes it feel like farmhouse living, country living, the South, because you know the South got something to say. Let's go up. Oh, look at this. Now this is a whole lot of space in a tiny house. Basically, this is just a, a little small barn. You can buy probably one of these at Home Depot or off the interstate if you live here in the south of the country. They sell these everywhere, but this gentleman who owns this place has transformed this whole entire barn house. Look at this bed. Nice, queen-size bed. Ooh, that's soft. Then got your rails here. Got two windows behind you that you can look out in nature as well. See all the greenery, see all the birds all the squirrels, the little bitty rabbits. And there's an ample amount of light here. They have these can lights up here, three can lights, and then they have a chandelier, a little chandelier in the back that sits over the window. So you can see nature out that way or in the back. <sighs> this is Southern living, being able to lay in a comfortable bed. And then you have these big windows and you can see the sun rise and the sunset, the trees, the little bitty squirrels all the wildlife outside. Ah, beautiful. All right, y'all, let's go outside and check out some of these amenities. Let's go. Y'all, look at it. There's a whole entire garden out here. There's daisies, there's ferns, there's roses. Can you see me? I'm wearing camo. I just love this area. I mean, it's so green, so many plants, so many good vibes while you're out here. Even though you're inside of the city, you don't really feel like you're here in the city. You may hear one or two cars pass by, but 
you're secluded inside nature. All these big oak trees, pine trees, <sighs> the sun peeking through right here, hitting my face. This view, oh, there's a hot tub over here you can get into. So whenever the sun starts to set, you can light the fire pit and then jump in the hot tub. The water stays at 104 degrees hot year round. So full hot tub, gazebo area, everything you need in order to have a great experience while you're here in the city of Atlanta. This is the full tiny house review. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I know a lot of you are watching this video. This is your first time seeing me. You're like, who is this guy? My name is Will Edmund. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. They also call me Plant Daddy because I like to wear plant type of stuff and I like to cook with plants because I'm vegan. Make sure you subscribe and like to this channel, comment, and then go watch my other videos. I got a lot of other videos that you need to watch so you can feel like you're traveling with me as well. Until next time, peace, love, and they also say hair grease. See you later.